Hi everyone, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my Come to Jesus talk today. Um, Come to Jesus is a saying that I got from the Big Bang Theory, which is why I'm wearing my shirt today. You can't really see it. Um, it says Bazinga, which is um, the saying that Sheldon always says on the Big Bang. And Sheldon, if you know the show, is from Texas uh, in the Bible Belt, and his mother is a very religious woman, and she would always tell him that they were going to have a Come to Jesus talk. And come to Jesus, to me, basically means that you're going to sit down and have a conversation where hopefully some sort of serious change is going to come as a result of that conversation. Um, so today, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about a book that I have been reading. Um, I started this book last year. It's been kind of challenging and a little bit difficult for me to get through. Um, it is by Napoleon Hill, and it's called Outwitting the Devil. And it was written by Hill in 1938, but it wasn't published until just last year in 2011 um, because his family and his friends considered that it was too controversial of a topic. Uh, Hill, in this book, actually believes that he is having a conversation with the devil. And that can be pretty, you know, far-fetched for a lot of people to believe um, in 1938 and now today in 2012. Um, but throughout this book, he really, really digs deep to identify the greatest obstacles that human beings face in trying to reach personal goals. And he outlines those obstacles as being fear, procrastination, anger, and jealousy, and those four things being the main tools of the devil. Um, and that the devil uses those methods to lead humans to ruin, which in turn brings those souls to the devil. Um, and so for me to interpret this book, um, I, I looked at it as, as a little bit different angle than how Hill had presented it, um, because quite frankly, I don't believe in the devil as an entity. Um, and so I looked at it as some personal struggles that I had to overcome to get to the point that I'm at today um, with my success with weight loss and you know transforming my mind and my body and, and my entire life. Um, so the first one I'm going to talk about is fear. Um, again, being almost 400 pounds, I was fearful. Um, I was fearful for my life. I was fearful for the example that I was setting for my children. Um, there were a lot of things that were holding me back. Uh, I was 37 years old when I decided that I was going to start this, this life change, but I had dealt with this fear for a very long time, um, and that ties right into procrastination. I kept putting it off. I kept saying, you know, tomorrow, 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 and suddenly tomorrow was today, and it had to happen. Um, was I angry about it? Yes. I was angry that I had let the devil um, control me. It, it, being my obesity, had taken so much away from my life. Um, so I was angry. I was angry at myself for allowing myself to get as big as I had gotten. I was angry at the people who I let take control of my life, that they sucked the energy from me, and I gave them my power. Uh, a lot like the Aztecs, you know, in sacrifice, would, would take the heart of their victim and, and eat that heart uh, to get the power. Um, people that were around me in my life, they vamped me. They were taking my power, and when I came to the realization that this was happening, I was angry. And so in order for me to be successful at, at what I had to do to lose 212 pounds, I had to put up some walls. I had to build some pretty, pretty big walls. Um, and I had to remove a lot of people from my life that were damaging to my psyche. Um, and I'm still, to be quite honest with you, working on getting over some of these feelings. You know, I'm 41 years old now, and I have some anger issues 
that I need to work through. Um, and hopefully it's something that's, you know, a work in progress, but that I'm going to come out on the other side successful and, and be able to forgive uh, these people that were very hurtful to me throughout most of my life. Um, and when I say I have anger issues, it's not that I'm, I'm violent in any means. It's that I have resentment um, for the way that I had been treated and for, for the words that people used to describe me and talk about me and hurtful things, hurtful things. So people, be very careful with the way that you talk to others because those feelings can stay with them for a very long time. And then the last feeling is jealousy. Um, yeah, I was jealous. I was jealous of my sister. Um, my sister is a beautiful, beautiful woman, has never struggled with her weight, um, and so I was jealous of her. I was jealous of other members of my family who also had never struggled with their weight and seemed to have a really easy time um, moving. You know, it was challenging for me to get out to the mailbox to walk with my kids up the block to the park. And I have family members who run marathons. Um, I would see these family members at, you know, family get-togethers, family reunions, and they would go out for a run before dinner. And, and I was jealous, and, and I wanted to be like that. Um, but again, at almost 400 pounds, I didn't know how. I didn't know how to be like that. Um, so I had to face my demons. And I, I have this quote here, again, from Napoleon Hill that, that I really, really come back to a lot that says, if you do not conquer self, you will be conquered. And there's no way that I'm going to let myself be the only obstacle in my way. And once I had, you know, put up these walls and determined what I had to do to be successful, what it boiled down to was that I was the one that was standing in my way. And so I had to kick her to the curb and say, you know what? No more. Action is the real measure of intelligence. And I've always been told, and, and you know, frankly, my test scores indicate that I'm pretty smart. Um, but I was fat. Action is the real measure of intelligence. If I wanted to be fit, I had to take action. I had to be the one. I had to conquer self. And so I set a goal. And a goal is just a dream with a deadline. And I had a very, very short-term deadline with each of my initial goals. You know, it was I wanted to lose 5% of my body weight by this date. I wanted to lose 10% by this date. And I set it up in very, very small chunks. And it was attainable. And I did it. And once I started to lose that weight and the action started to happen and I started to conquer self, I set some more uh, far-fetched, let's call them, goals. Um, you know, to run a 5K, to run a 10K, a 15K, a half marathon, a triathlon, a 128-mile endurance challenge. So I continue to set these goals. They're dreams, but there's a deadline associated with them. And so I have overcome the fear, the procrastination, the anger, and the jealousy that held back 400-pound Jen. Um, now, 157-pound Jen still has demons that she has to overcome. Okay, again, I've built these walls up around myself, and now I have to try to gently, again, gently, knock some of these walls down to let some of these people back into my life. Now, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, and I know it's not going to be easy. But I have a wonderful support system around me um, with my husband, who unfortunately is a victim of the wall. Um, he has always been very supportive of what I've been doing. Um, but in order to be successful, again, I've had to kind of push people away a little bit. Um, so now I'm starting to let them back in and learn how to integrate all the aspects of my life into this new life. And it's a challenge. It's a challenge to be, 
the new gen. And, um, and hopefully all the people that I love um, still love me after going through all of this and, and are going to be there to support the next chapter um, of what's in store for all of us because I think it's going to be a pretty phenomenal ride. It's been a pretty phenomenal ride. Um, we're happy, we're healthy, you know, we're able to achieve uh, a lot of things together as a family that we weren't able to do before. Um, but again, it's, it's still, you know, a struggle. It's a struggle to, to face your inner demons, come face to face with them, knock them down, overcome them, come out on the other side, and then still realize you have a lot more work to do. Um, so there we go. That is my first come to Jesus talk. You need to realize what your demons are, how you're going to tackle them, tackle them down to the ground, overcome them, and then come out on the other side successful. So I hope that is helpful to someone. Um, if you have an idea for another topic that you'd like for me to discuss, please shoot me an email at jennifer at metamorphit.org or on my blog, metamorphit.org, or on my Facebook page, Jenny Hodges is Metamorphit. And I'd love to hear some feedback as to what you guys thought of my first attempt at a Come to Jesus vlog. Um, and I hope you have a great weekend and a great rest of your Friday. Take care.